though most people consider a concussive injury, a, a brain concussion, to be a minor injury, and in the big picture of potential injuries to the brain it is, it can continue to bother someone, particularly a child, for days, weeks, months, or even years. It's very important at the beginning of the process when it's recognized that someone's been knocked out or thought to have lost consciousness just for a moment or just not feeling right after being hit on the head that they do need some medical attention. If they've been knocked out, they probably need to go to an emergency room or some other medical facility to be considered for a CT scan of the brain to make sure there's no bleeding. If the symptoms persist of headache, uh, difficulty with thought processes, disorientation, any other change in the way someone thinks or speaks or acts, then clearly a good evaluation by someone experienced in the care of concussive injuries is a must. Those symptoms can go on for a long time, and probably the best thing would be to be under the guidance of an interdisciplinary concussion clinic or concussion program where neurosurgeons can rule out bad injuries, and neurologists and rehabilitation doctors can help with the recovery, either by giving medicines or other therapies, or just monitoring a slow and graded increase of activity. I think in this way, the concussive injuries and symptoms that can go on for months or years can oftentimes be either avoided or at least shortened somewhat, allowing someone to get back to full health more quickly.